Hey, what's going on guys? Sean here, Hammerhead Garage. Told you I'd let you know when there's more to show, and there's more to show. So here we are, welcome to the Sean Show. Um, back on the small block Ford. Checking some stuff here today. Piston to valve clearance, all that sort of jazz. Just want to show you what I did here. Put some modeling clay on the piston. Put the head on with six bolts. Put some solid lifters right here instead of the hydraulics these ones are basically hydraulic lifters and they have the um, center section removed and replaced with washers and preloaded to 30 thou so they're solid for what I'm checking here so anyway what I did is it clayed the piston ran the engine through a couple of revolutions take a wet knife and cut the clay off the edge of the piston and then you take your depth tool here and you measure the thickness of where the valve makes an indent here you can see that the valve actually made an indent on the piston you just measure it you measure the thickness of it on both sides and the numbers are as so exhaust side is 163 thousandths and the intake side is 136 thousandths so that's more than enough fellas that's plenty of room so that tells me that I can even get away with even more lift. I can get a higher lift cam if I wanted to lift the valves further and I'd still be okay. But anyway, glad I checked it because you should, that's the right way to do it. Um, here's my old lifters. They're in good shape. They're roller tips. Nothing wrong with them. They're fine. They're going to go back in. Um, yeah, so anyway, while I was doing that, I put, took my uh, comp cams um, checker tool here, it's adjustable, and I'm trying to get the push rod um, length that I need to order set up, so here's what I finally arrived at. You can see that the sweep is right in the middle of the valve. That's what you want. Um, it's not the only thing that's important, but it is important to have that sweep in the, in the center part of the valve. For the simple reason that if it's on the outside of the inside, it can scuff the guide. So you can wear the guide more than you really should um, by pushing on one end of it or the other end of it. So anyway, um, I figured out that my final length, uh, based on this push rod, when I wound it out, and I, I set the length checker to check these ends, for this particular application, it's 6.050 of an inch. Uh, will give me the correct uh, valve train geometry for this engine and with that uh, when my rocker arm is at half lift so on this cam uh, it's 255 thousandths at half lift the pivot of the of, uh, hole right here of the rocker tip is at 90 degrees it's right it's right at 90 degrees like that uh, so that tells me that the uh, the geometry is correct and also the fact that it's sweeping over the center part of the valve makes it correct so anyway we're getting a little closer got to order some parts um, got to order those push rods um, also I found out that these studs are not long enough so I've ordered a set of ARPs to replace these ones and the ARPs are uh, about that much longer point, uh, 1.825 they're a little longer, so that'll allow me. Remember, I was on my last video. I was worried about the um, threads per inch on the poly locks. Well, that'll allow me some more threads per inch, uh, so that the set screw is just going to set flush with that, or just a few threads inside that hole. So that's kind of good news. But anyway, that's pretty much it, guys. That's all I'm doing. Hot as blazes out here today, so just cleaning stuff up and measuring stuff and checking stuff, and I'm going to order my parts tonight and. When all that comes in, we're going to get her on for good. But anyway, I hope you guys are having a good day. We'll see you all later. Thumbs up for Warramps. Stay classy.